In September 1941, Nazi Germany was in its third year of Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, engulfing Europe as it moved from one victory to the next. At this time, Nobel laureate physicist Niels Bohr, a Danish Jew who had gone to work for the Manhattan Project, was visited by his former pupil Werner Heisenberg in Copenhagen. Heisenberg was the head of the Nazi nuclear fission project in Germany. The two scientists met in private and the contents of their conversation remain largely speculative. What we do know is that Niels Bohr left their meeting in a state of shock and that their correspondence subsequently stopped. But why? What did Heisenberg say to Bohr regarding a nuclear weapon? Does it indicate that the Nazis did, in fact, have an atomic bomb? Seventy years after the fall of Nazi Germany, there is little evidence to suggest that the Third Reich developed an atomic bomb on par with those dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the Allies. But how close did they actually get? Historians Mark Walker and Rainer Kalsch have recently claimed that the Nazi scientists did in fact build and test a small nuclear device in the final days of World War II. This bomb was part of a secret program being run by physicist Kurt Diebner, and would have been much smaller than those dropped on Japan. However, a significant amount of the evidence for a small Nazi nuclear weapon has been discredited due to Kalsch's misunderstanding of physics and the unreliability of his first-hand accounts. A team led by Kalsch is currently trying to excavate an area in the Austrian town of St. Georgen an der Gusen, because they believe this to be the site of the largest Nazi secret weapons facility, all underground. However, their efforts have been put on hold. Heisenberg himself claimed the Nazis didn't want the bomb as badly as the Allies did, and didn't have the time or resources to properly develop it. While the Allies had 125,000 people working on the bomb, the Nazis had around 60. After the war, Heisenberg even suggested that it was morally wrong to build and detonate an atomic bomb on behalf of anybody, least of all Hitler. But he suggested the Germans could have built the bomb if they had wanted to. Historian Thomas Powers argues that Heisenberg was actually consciously sabotaging the Nazi effort for an atomic bomb, deliberately slowing their progress to keep it out of Hitler's grasp. Powers says Heisenberg had been pushed into the program on pain of death, that he was withholding information and even trying to covertly pass on his knowledge to the Allies. He says that Heisenberg's meeting with Bohr in Copenhagen was evidence of Heisenberg's attempts to sabotage the Nazi effort. An alternative explanation is that the Nazi's failure was not by choice. Starting in 1933, when Hitler came into office, the Nazi regime depleted the number of German scientists in its academic institutions. There were, therefore, less brilliant physicists able to work on the atomic bomb on behalf of the Nazis. It's also hard to understand why, if Heisenberg was in fact coerced into working for the Nazis, he never tried to escape, despite a number of chances. It's much more likely that Heisenberg was supporting German victory. At the end of the war, Heisenberg and eight other prominent German nuclear scientists were captured and held at Farm Hall in England. Their conversations were secretly recorded without their knowledge and reveal their ignorance of exactly how to make an atom bomb. Historian Paul Lawrence Rose argues first and foremost that Heisenberg didn't actually know how to make the bomb, regardless of his intention. Instead, Heisenberg told clever half-truths after Hiroshima so that he implied he knew more than he did. After the war, when asked about his meeting with Niels Bohr, Heisenberg tried to imply that atomic bombs were the most significant moral issue, not Heisenberg's role within the Nazi party. But in 2002, a letter written by Bohr in 1957 was finally opened. It says Heisenberg was actively pursuing the atomic bomb and advocating German victory. Heisenberg may even have visited Bohr as an act of espionage on behalf of the Third Reich. Technically speaking, there is little evidence to suggest the Nazis really were close to developing an atomic bomb. Instead, Heisenberg seems to have made a series of errors in his calculations and had insufficient support and supplies. But Heisenberg's attempt to rewrite his wartime intentions while trying to morally absolve his own legacy has muddied our knowledge of the Nazi effort for the atom bomb, possibly forever. <laughs>